So I talked about Battlefield Five earlier, but uh, the former head of EA and Dice, Patrick Sutherland, has, um, as we all know, left EA, and uh, now he's announced what he's been doing with his time off. He opened a new studio that is called uh, Embark Studios, and this studio is going to work on creating new types of interactive entertainment focused on simulating virtual online worlds. He wants to take advantage of new technologies such as streaming, cloud computing, and AI. You know what? You know why I hate this already, Brett? Why do you hate this? Because just Does like Diablo, my uh, <laughs> immoral. <coughs> why immoral? <laughs> it's immoral. Diablo, well, say Fortnite. Now it's all over the fucking world, and everyone's playing it. And then like this is just like it just sounds like a cash grab. What can we do to find the biggest audience to play our game so we can make the most money? I mean, everything's a cash grab these days. So but yeah, there's that. Well, because microtransact, they've realized microtransactions is the way to go to get everybody's money. This is our Coin Game Informer, and uh, there's a quote that he said in a press release where he said, "Connected players, big data, speech rec- recognition, cloud computing, advanced AI, and more will open up new play, enabling developers to build a wider range of experiences for players to create and contribute." So he wants to bring people together to go beyond the current play experiences and plan for the future. He's developing for what that future will look like where there is no platform, you know, everything's platform agnostic. I'm surprised he actually he left EA because EA was working on that, you know, project um I forgot the name of it, the yeah. project X Cloud or whatever that we were t- or no, that was Microsoft. That was Microsoft. Yeah. Whatever same, same project thing. that they're working same on. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a thousand people working on this new streaming technology, you know, right, like right. I was surprised he left that and to start this company, but well, he probably has all the details. So he's like, I'm gonna do it before them. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I think there's some value to be said in that because there's so many different types of things that you can do now rather than just like looking at a screen. What is the next evolution of our game gameplay that we're invo- in, involved in? Like we have these VR devices that we can put on our headsets that are really, really cool and engaging. We have this Pokemon Go thing. We're starting to see like the the fusion of like Pokemon Go. Mixed in with this Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and stuff like that, yeah. where now you can like play the game and have like those things tie into this mobile game you take on the go. So you have these like supplemental devices, and I still like that people are supporting this like second screen experience, like with the Red Dead, where they had Red Dead Redemption Two, the game, and then if you want to just go like you know UI free on the screen or HUD free on the screen, you can download the companion app and have your map there with you, but not do you have use that every time there. you play it. Uh, not Most always, of the time. but sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Like, just give me a place where I can sit down and play my game and be in my own world. Like, having all this other <laughs> stuff combined with it. I mean, call me the old man, I guess, because like that just doesn't. He's an old man. It doesn't sit well with me, and it doesn't seem fun. Yeah, you know. Like, let me tinker in one spot and let me be focused. That's all I want. Anyway, so it's interesting that they're that he's going that route. That he started a company. He's going to kind of have more control. So we'll see where it goes. Head on over to TheNBGamer.net for a full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines of the week. That, that's one of me doing an interview. Here's one of all of us. We'll make some yeah, cool stuff things. In there. Brett's also right here. Like this video, subscribe, keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions that you care about right here on The Inner Gamer.